Hello, hi guys, welcome back. So today is we will be now implementing the CI/CD for our Node.js API. So first is I just made a simple PowerPoint. So here is our architecture for our CI/CD. So we will be making two jobs. So the first job will clone the uh, will clone the code. I mean the files from our repository and then it will run the unit test so after it will after running the unit test so if it fails so it will just uh, report the the result of the failed uh, build and it will email to the to the developer so else if it is successful it will run the second test so then for our second test is I mean our second job job second job. So our second job is again it will clone the file from our repo then run the integration test. So the unit test and integration test is I've done these uh, tutorials in my previous video so just up over there. So if if Again, if it if it fails in the if it encounter a failure in the integration test, again it will email to the developer. Then else, if successful, it will SSH to the server, and then it will deploy our API there using Docker. Then using Docker. So that's our architecture. So first is we will make new item. So I just learned it yesterday, so I'm not still I'm not still uh, good at it. But I will be showing to you my way of CI/CD. So I'm not good with pipeline yet because it, it uses scripts. So I will just use the freestyle project. It's also good. So if this is our step one, then we'll make another job. For our step uh, second job just go up the new item by the way this is the my Jenkins running in localhost which I run using docker desktop windows it's already working here so let's go back in our first uh, job then let's configure first in the source in the general so there's you won't be touching anything here then in the source code is you'll use git then get the url which is https so copy that and then we'll be using no credentials yet then specify the branch the branch here is main so change to main so that's it for the source code management so let's try to build it so currently there's nothing in our workspace so if we build it there must be the files in there so let's build So successful because it's blue. So let's check. So there's our files. So let's go back. The build triggers is we'll be using uh, GitHub webhooks after we configure it. Uh, if it is working already, so let's just skip this for now. So in the build environments is we'll be using Node. So not, currently there's nothing here. So let's add a node JS here. So let's go to our dashboard. Then manage Jenkins. Then global tool configuration. Then you you must install the Node.js plugin. Then let's go to Node.js. 
you must get the LTS version. I've tried using this version, but when I run the command in the in the Jenkins during the build the uh, npm install, I encounter problems. So I changed to LTS version and solve the problem. So let's add Node.js. You can name anything you want here, but I just want to specify the version. So install from Node.js org, then get the version 14.17. If you want uh, global packages, you can put it here. Like uh, you can put it here. It is white space separated. So example, uh, express then space pg space dot env. You can put it there. Then that's it. So let's apply then save. And let's go back here, just refresh first. So source code is here, then build environment, let's add the node here. So just check this. Then in our build, we will be using execute shell. We will be making our shell script. Uh, this is uh, procedural, so up line per line up going to down so i'll just copy my script here and explain the first is npm install on the prod meaning uh, dev dependencies are not included then make rnb file then echo uh, this env file is what is stored here in i've already deployed the the api in my server here it is running so i just get the env here by the way the app is already running in this i've already deployed it but not attach uh, domain. So here is the API. I mean, the app and the API is already connected in the view app. So this is the env file. Then connection to database. It's just the same from my clean architecture tutorial. And it will run the uh, integration test, which is from the package JSON here. You test. Then after that is we'll be making post build post build actions meaning after running this build this script here then it will run this post build so what we'll be doing is we will be uh, email notif so if it's if it is successful or failed it will email to the de developer so I will put my email here. Then we will add another option which is uh, publish G unit test result. So by the way, in my API is I installed uh, I used just in my unit test and integration test, then I installed this just J unit for it to generate this file. Uh, this file is needed by the Jenkins to generate uh, the graph representation of the build. So we will, uh, the result of this is this one in my local. Let's check in my local. Here, this graph is what is the result of that XML file. So let's continue. Just right here, junit.xml. And I added these two files for it to generate this file. It's just just config. Uh, 
just ignore this for now because the file is not not yet in the workspace so it returns an error but it's okay and then we'll be delete some files after building so so that our server won't uh, the space of the hard drive won't be large so let's delete files no node modules especially the node modules because it's very big files dot nv and uh, xml j unit so i guess that's all so let's try and build currently there's no graph here on the side because not yet build so let's build now let's check in the console so actually uh, clone same install it is currently installing then create the env file with these kind with these values then run the unit test so it all passed then clean up delete then success so we will be checking our email there so there's the graph passed here in our workspace the node modules oh it's not deleted node modules let's check if there are files I mean there are files inside here so it must be deleted so let's check node modules So not working. But you can add delete here. You can delete it here. RM RS node modules. In my local it's working by the way. So it's just the same here. There are node modules, and when we check the files here, it's not deleted. So let's just add the uh, let's just add this one and remove this. So let's try again. The node modules must be deleted. So let's. Build. There it on the RMRF. I'll lock the project. There is the node module is already deleted. So let's check our email. Oh, the way guys, I forgot to configure the email. So let's go to our manage Jenkins and configure system. So go to the bottom part. 
you will be doing the uh, we will configure the email notice so let's just click advance so we will be using the gmail simply gmail.com then leave this as blank then authentication is put your email then use tls or 587 then just leave it blank then let's try it. test email sent as successful then you'll be here we will be uh, changing this part here uh, this will be shown in the subject of the email so we'll be just putting rl tech jenkins so you will see it later so let's try to build again So let's, so let's try to build guys here's our build 11 so I pushed in the repo to fail the test here I changed the unit test I put an s here so it will and it will it, it will fail the test so when when the when a test failed it will email to the to the developer so like this so number 11 failed here one number 11 so will it it will email the error so let's push again just remove the s So it is pushed now. Let's try again to build. So build. So it must be a successful build. Running the test now. So all passed and then it will send email that it is successful. Sending email. Other oh, back to normal. It will just email if if it counters fail. Then if you build again, then it will email that is back to normal. If your build is successive successful, then I guess it won't email that it is back to normal. So that's it for our step one, guys running unit test so in our step 2 we will be doing this job uh, clone run integration test if you reach the server then deploy using docker so see you guys there